So here we have a TiVo slider remote, and it is uh, behaving badly. Um, this has happened before, and uh, I'm going to go through the process to fix it. So uh, hitting the buttons, you get no lights. Um, the last time we had the problem, we didn't get lights either. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the batteries. We have an access screw here. We'll use a Phillips screwdriver. And we'll remove that Phillips screwdriver. It's a Phillips screw. So we have a Phillips screw, and we'll remove that Phillips screw using our Phillips screwdriver. Now the slider is a fairly complicated little bugger. The two separate right along this right along this seam here, so you get the back cover off. You don't have to worry about taking the keypad out to uh, affect this particular fix. So we'll grab a small flat blade screwdriver and we'll get to work separating. Of course, you want to be a little bit careful with this, as careful as you can be to get this done. You have these little ports to help you here. You can see, I'm trying to take the, separate the keypad from the shell. We'll slowly work our way around so as to not break anything. So it's just that one screw. And then what you'll notice as you take it apart is that there are a couple of really strong magnets inside the system. And they make that wonderful sliding noise happen. And the magnets go into these slots right up here, this slot and this slot. That's probably the hardest thing to do is to get those magnets back in when you're reassembling everything. But as you can see, the magnets jumped out and found the closest metal home. The other fun thing about the magnets is their polarity matters. So their uh, ability to stick to their partner in the top of the slider depends on their direction. You'll know if you assemble it wrong because when you slide it shut it will try and pull itself apart instead of keeping itself nicely together. Okay, so here we are. Got our keyboard out. Separated our keyboard clamshell and this rubber mat just pops right back in. Rubber mat with the keys on it. Not a big deal there. But where the challenge is, where the problem at least was, the last time my kids got their hands on this remote comes when you remove this. So when you take the keyboard off of the base, what we find laying loose inside the shell is the magic card that does all of the goodness. So this happens, I haven't seen my kids do it, but I'm fairly certain this happens because the kids drop the remote. And when they drop the remote, it pops off. And then it makes it seem like it's completely damaged and irreplaceable or irreparable, but it's pretty easy to just drop this guy back in. Same number of pins. You can see the general layout in white where the board goes. They give you a nice little spot there. Just want to make sure you don't misalign it. So you can see from the edge here, just getting those pins in and just smushing it together nicely. So that all looks as it should. Now everything is back in place. At least everything is in place. Now, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to put styrofoam peanuts right in here. 
so that when I smush the remote closed, get everything reassembled again, that peanut keeps this guy from flying back off and laying in this container. So that's going to be my fix. I'm going to go put that packing peanut in there and close it up and close the rest of it up and then we're all set.